happy person as much as what the young lady has read. Thank you so much for uh, introducing me. Uh, I am a person, let me tell you, you just please close your ears. I hate this week. <laughs> but I love heritage. There is a difference. There is a huge difference. History is something that we have been taught and it all depends on how the teachers, I am talking about my teachers, not the future teachers, I am sure you are going to do a good job about it, they convey to us about all the leaders and happenings of the past. That is what history is. That is where things were documented and they were passed on to us. And said, Shiva, you came here. Alright, I'm going. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. But that could have been told in a better way. My way of documenting these particular things and conveying it to the people is a little out of the box. Many a times, those people who classify in the group of historians, who may be academic uh, historians or uh, you know uh, teaching uh, professionals. They sometimes take you know, a huge cry saying that why you are doing it this way, why you are doing it that way. I said, see, what is the main objective of doing all this? What is the main objective of doing all this? So here is the information and here are the people or in your case the students who have to pass it on to them. But when you go home and your mother cooks something, we have got our basics and uh, so we have got our own basics. I'm talking about me. I have got my own taste. You have got your own taste. But that taste does not work when I have to prepare the dish and put it in front of somebody. I am talking in the hotel years, terminology, for 22 years I have spent there in that industry. I was teaching at uh, BB for at uh, Demo Commerce. And I had a very unorthodox way of teaching. Initially, uh, Dr. Radhika Nayak, who later on became the registrar and national she called me, she says, Sanjay, why do you do this? I said, ma'am, do me one thing. My job is to educate those people, not teach them. So I said, let me do it my way. So what was it that she didn't like about what I was doing? Right now you are sitting here at 2 o'clock. A time when old people like us go to sleep in the afternoon. No? At times, we have got a lot of studies, whatever project that have to be done, we don't have time to eat. Yes or no? Right? Let's be interactive. Huh? Huh? I, don't, I don't bite and I don't have arms also. Uh, my way of working or my classes is to start at 8.45 in the morning. 8.45, one, uh, one hour, 5 minute break, then again another 5 minute break. Uh, so I have 50, 50, 50, 150 students. Now I know one thing, that when your teacher or your sir during their time when they were in school. If the school started at 8 o'clock, I was 200, I am 200% sure. But they got up at 5 o'clock in the morning. They had their bath, did everything, had their bag, had their food, and they left about an hour early to reach. But in the times today, if my class starts at 8.45, the boy gets up at 8 o'clock in Markham. And then he rushes to my class. And when he rushes to my class, what happens? He's hungry. Now what happens when you people are hungry? Loud air at the bottom. And then you all bring out and start descending the class. So I, my instruction was very simple. You have brought your breakfast along with you, bring it for my class. You eat in class, but see that nothing falls down. So I was teaching them etiquettes of keeping the place clean. They can drink anything except alcohol. They could drink anything inside. If they didn't like what I was teaching them, 
I told them, put your head down and go to sleep. I have no problems. But don't disturb the next guy. But there were those very good people who put their head down and then started poking fingers and all. We had those people, okay? And the third thing was, remember, this is very important. This is very, very important. You treat the people sitting in front of you like adults. Now, how would anybody like to put up his finger, Sir, I want to go, but are you are an adult. You don't have to tell me that. If you feel like going to the toilet, you see there are two things. They say, no, when you want to go, you want to go. One is a cemetery, one is a toilet. You want to go, you want to go. There is no choice about it. Why are you telling 20 other people that you want to go over there? Put your book. Close your book so I know that you are doing something. Go out. Don't even have to ask permission. Go out and come back inside. I know where the toilet is to hear how much time is supposed to be taken. So you delay yourself, I'll send somebody down to the canteen. Now, these are very, very important things. Now, I'll give you my experience about another school, Mahila Dukkan School. I had 350 students sitting in front of me. We started the lecture at 10 o'clock, and then the teachers told me, Say, see, my students are very virtuous. Uh, you will be able to control. I've got all teachers sitting down there. I said, you don't worry about that. I've got a different way of conveying information which I have collected on my own. That methodology we will talk about. Okay? But there is one aspect in my methodology which your teachers don't have. And that is chocolates. Okay? Now, how you would put it in an English word with an incentive? Incentive of good marks, good remarks, etc, etc, etc. So when I finished off my, when I was not yet finished, it was 1.15 in the afternoon. From 10 o'clock till 1.15, not a single child got up. I didn't shout at them, I didn't do anything. They were all looking and they didn't want me to stop. See, I'm not talking about myself. They didn't want to stop. So, the problem was the parents were waiting down. After all the children went off, the teachers came to me and said, how is it that they don't sit for 15 minutes uh, in our class and for 3, or, three hours, 15 minutes they are sitting down here uh, without making a noise? I said, see, don't give me any credit. I don't deserve any credit. The point is how you prepare the dish. You teach them in the way that they will accept your knowledge. And what I am going to talk to you all now is exactly that. I have broken it up into four parts. One, I am going to talk about Goa. How many of you are Goans? Huh? All. All? Sure? Yes. Sure? Yes. How many of you know 100% of Goa? How many of you know 100% of Goa? Okay, anybody from Pendle side? You? Okay. Anybody from Bijoli side? Okay. Anybody from uh, Mafsa side? Very good. Mom, Parwari side? Okay, go to, from Magin, Kalamur. Okay, from different places you are there, no? Who is, who is the furthest party from here? Anybody from Sattari and all those areas? You are from Sattari. You are from, very good, very good, very good. See, why I am asking you this question? I want to know that when I show you all certain things, whether you all know or you don't know. Okay, you all don't know 100% of them. 
You're not going to get marks or something out of it here. But answer, make an attempt to answer. Okay? So,
There was not a single house in this area. Not a single. Last house was the dyer's house next to Phuket. We used to come here to meet cadets. Now there are cadets training the serving bars here. Okay, but now it is different. But that seed of my heritage was planted by my mother. Somewhere down the line, I will be showing you one slide which says, don't hear, listen. Don't see, observe. And understand before you talk. Observing is the first criteria of a good teacher. Of a good human being. Now, when I was around about 10 to 12 years old, there were coming out here wooden buses. So we had to take a bus from here to Beti, cross over my ferry and walk till where the new part of bridge is now. The bus stand was there. Take a bus, go to Old Goa. And Old Goa, you get on a Gandhi Center and you start walking to Manteshwar Temple on Mahashura Jati. So my mother was very pious. So she went. When she went and she came back, it was a full day of her. It is not that I'll just go to Old Goa and come back now, give me one hour. It is not, not like that. You went in the morning, came back in the evening. When she came back in the evening, tired, you know, she was all glowing. So what happened? So no, we went, we waited in line, we put the, you know, we put the uh, milk and all to the link, and we were standing outside to come now. Because they found some ladies for them. One guy with a beer and chips came and tapped my mother and says, come. So they were we don't know this guy. How did it? How did it? Uh, you know, how did he come at me? So she asked the other. She says, "Come." He insisted, and says he took them down in front of the temple. There were steps to go down, and she said that they, she, he made them walk in a tunnel which was three feet wide, seven feet high, and twenty feet long with a door that was sealed. Now. At a young age, when you have all these tunnels, you big things wrong, you get impressed. But over a period of time, that seed that was planted rested inside. And only when I left the hotel industry and started collecting the information, that is the time I mentioned this to one of the senior uh, engineers of DW. He made a fool out of me. He said, what's wrong with you? Why should anybody have a tunnel here? If anybody wants water to go, they would have put it on top. Went off, two, three years went off. Then I went into signages, putting up signboards. Traffic sign, the first traffic sign that we put on the road, open by me. I got a call from this guy. He said, Sanjit, uh, what are you doing? Said, nothing. So go to Old Goa and meet my supervisor over there and uh, tell him I have said. So what happened? I thought I made some mistake or something. I went there. So that guy said, I'm not sitting beside your vision. So, no. And he's sitting on my bike. I don't want to follow him in the sun. So no, I'll tell you. And he took me to one place, about a kilometer away from where I had set the tunnel over there. And said, sir, our sir was telling that he laughed at you when he said that there was a tunnel. He said, when we were digging over here, we found your tunnel. One kilometer away. Huh? But he said, I have not brought you here to show you that. I have brought you here to tell you that there is another tunnel, two feet by two feet. And you will not believe using this information, I could convince archives to excavate that tunnel. They have started excavating, but now the water has filled in here. So, what I just conveyed to you is oral history that was told to me by my mother, which I converted to a practical site visit. And now I am in the capacity to tell those guys that go there and do this particular, and they are doing it. Very, very important. Now, Sanskriti. Now, what is this type of, for that? Excuse me, do you mind if I take off my shoes? Please. I love to be your know, without shoes all the time. Now, down you have written over there, go, go on, no go on. That is exactly the reason. We go on, sure, no go on. That's where we are supposed to know this. Now, with that same name, I started the uh, TV serials. I've got 52 serials on Prime TV. But as go, go on, no go. 
and then I shifted over to Prudel. I have got 133 plus another 12 now in the pipeline for the new series. So total 185 half an hour episodes are there about go. Till today, I have not got a single person who has come up and told me what you are saying is wrong. Why? Because the documentation, studies, gathering of information is correct. That we will look at the plus part of it. Sanskriti. Sanskriti without criticism. The behind and the beyond. Maja Patlani. Our behind, our past and future. What is this about? I am going to tell you all a story. There was a Brahmin who would go to the temple, do his puja, come back and do his puja at home. So he would have a bath and he would keep milk, sugar, honey, you know, all the panchamrut, the bhagat. He would keep. You all understand company also, no? Yes, sir. Good. Uh, but then the director of the Rishi Lent. The mother of the Pierre. So, then he did a lamp, which is a garani, wood tea. There was a wooden peg, what is Pudia, where people should hang their shirts or their bags or whatever. Uh, he had tied a long string over there. So, the sequence would be he would come home, have a bath, keep the things, catch the cat, tie the front paws of the cat or to that string, do his puja, leave the cat, go to work. You are married, you got a son. He saw his father coming home, having a bath, keeping the thing, catching the cat, tying the cat, you know, doing the puja, leaving the cat, going to work. Again it went on. The time came when the son grew up and old man died. So the son went to the temple, came home, had a bath, kept the things, caught the cat, tied the cat, did the puja, kept the cat, went to work. One day when he came home, the cat had died. So he came home, had a bath, kept the thing, went to the neighbor's house and built a cat and tied it to a cat. Now everybody laughed, right? I am going to ask a question now. Many of us wear the tickly, yes or no? How many of you all know why you wear that? Because you have been told to wear that. And then? Very nice. First chocolate goes to you. That's good. She made an attempt. Because there is, there is, please, don't yeah. See, if you all get a chocolate, they will not clap up with them. Okay. So, uh, here is a point where you start pressing and you pull down. Possibly earlier the wives could not speak in the house. The husband used to do a lot of naughty things over there. And she used to get so frustrated, so she would get a headache and she would get possibly, possibly. There are so many things. Lodanda Kastana, Suda Gala, Kriya Gala. There are thousands of questions like this which we are following blindly without questioning. So in this Sanskrit and we are debating what was the actual reason for starting something, right? So today what I am going to do, I am going to have it in four parts. Understanding Goa, see if we are going to talk about gathering information about Goa, the methodology, we have to understand what is Goa first. Secondly, understanding heritage and history. I will just rush through that. Understanding methodologies, that is very important for you. And the last is something which I ask permission so that on my own I can give you a little bit of advice. Because my wife is a headmistress. But I am telling you, she is the headmistress of Lord Chitna School, where you know it is a pre-primary and primary with a resource room. So that is very, very important. She comes back and she explains certain things, you know, what happened, how you know they tackled that particular thing. Very important. And for us, it looks small, but no, as teachers, you will have to what you call uh, you will have to accept and implement certain things like this. Very but your methodology is very, very important. That smile, you won't consider that but no, you have to keep that smile. You have to keep that smile. So, you know, you this, this will understand it, okay? Understanding Goa. I call Goa as Goa, uh, God's own land. We have got all the gods here. We have got in Panda all the temples, we have got Oruba, we have got all the churches, we have got mosques in Panda side, full side. So, I call it this. Why do I call that? Is because it is said. As per mythology, that Parshuram, 
shot an arrow from the Sayyadri. This is what is written in the Sayyadri Khan. And the arrow fell at Banahalli at a place what we know today as Denali. And the sea god went back. So here Bhakshanam is telling the sea god, he says, please go back. I want land to do my puja. So go back. So he told him that you should tell him I will go back. You have no problem. Now, my personal belief, and yes, I am not wrong in saying so, our ancestors were very smart. They were very smart. You have, you have heard the name of Galileo? Galileo? Today his hand, the skeleton of his hand is displayed in a museum in a glass bottle. Why? Because 350 years ago, he told the authorities that the earth is round and it is moving round the sun. He said, Lord man, the earth is flat and the sun is going round. You can't see it's coming from here and going that side. But when he insisted he was killed, 350 years later they said, sorry, I'm taking a middle place arke, but you are dead and gone. Our ancestors had more brains. They wrapped up scientific, geological, chemical facts in beautiful gift papers called as, as Puranas. And they came down because Tungal Icharin Kira Sangilla in fourth standard they are Dutana. The Ajahn Tala Ajahn Kani Sangili by name, he didn't tell us about the name. So the Kani Evoshetani Kodunde, Sukal by name. Right. When I said that Parshuram shot the arrow at the sea went back, today you have geological proof of that. How many of you have gone to Kolapur, Bhagavan, or cross the darts? So next time when you are crossing, no. Good. Next time when you are crossing, you will find these darts in lines. And you find conch shells, shamka start to shamka, at a height of 140 meters. Now shamks cannot swim. They are always found at the bottom of the sea. So how did they reach on top? In other words, the bottom of the sea was there. You have heard of Gurmana land? Yes. You were down at Antarctica and everything broke up and started moving. South America went to America, Africa went up, and India and Mozambique, Madagascar started traveling up. Madagascar said, see, you have to do what you have to do, you have to do what you have to do. So India started proceeding south. It went and smashed into the Asia plate to go to India. Once it hit, it pressed the land over there, creating the Himalayas. Today, as you are sitting over here, if you go on Google or any other scientific uh, documents, you will find that India is the fastest moving continent at one inch per year. That's why the height of Himalaya either goes up or comes down. Every year. So here we have proof that where we are standing right now was the sea. This was underneath. And when it hit, the land rose up. Water went down and that is what we have. And you have to be proud that the western guards are much older than the Himalayas. Much, much older than the Himalaya. We are still finding new, new species over there. Of frogs, reptiles, plants, lot of them. So, this is... Then, let's come to Goa. There are so many other slides that I can show you, but let's come to Goa. This small piece of land, which we call Goa today. Let me what be very, very specific on this. What we call as Goa today was not Goa earlier. It could have been called Goa. Why? Fitness side was under the Bosles of Samantwadi. Sattari was under Rane's. Ponda, Kanpon, Sange and the Kepe was the property of Sonagargi. And Bardes, Iswadi and uh, Salse was under the Portuguese. Each one had their own uh, land. Everything was not called as uh, Goa. But this small land along the Kumpur was always eyed by people from as far as Portugal because we have got natural ports. Ports, with these ports you can control the east as well as the west side of the Indian Ocean and the Bay of Bengal. 
and any trade that is happening today. So they wanted it. And you can see from top, we had the Mauryan Emperor, who was just the part, the base part of that. Between them and Kadam, they were quite a lot, Shibharas and all the Bhujas. And then Kadams came. Then we had the Vijayagar, Bhaktapurji, both of these came here in 1469. After one year, they are their uh, kingdom broke up, the dynasty broke up into Nizam Shai, Kutub Shai and Adil Shai and one more. And this land was given to Adil Shah. So from uh, 1471 to 1510, that is when the Portuguese came here, the uh, Adil Shai was over here. And then on 25th of November 1510, the Portuguese came here and they were here till 19 December 1961 until Operation Vijay took place and they were. Now, that day, 19 December 1961, was a very, very important day for all of us. Why? Before 19 December 1961, no person on this land was a citizen. He was a subject of somebody. Subject of the kings that you see over here and subject of the king of Portugal. It was only after you got liberated that you got your right as a citizen. Very important. Then, uh, 1962, you know, it was incorporated. In May 1962, it was uh, these three liberated areas and the other one was incorporated into India as Union Territory. We had a military governor and we had uh, later on a lieutenant governor who came here in June 1962. His name was Tumkur Shivashankar, first lieutenant governor. Then, uh, in December 1963, we had the first election. Then, in 64 January, the first elected government was put into power. 16 January 1967, which is also called as the Asmita this. We had a voting to decide our identity. It is called as the opinion poll. Once you all go a little higher, possibly as a project, you, you do this opinion poll. It's really wonderful. And on 30th May, now listen to this very carefully. On 30th May uh, uh, 1987, Goa was declared as a state. We celebrate our uh, statehood day on 30th. But here if you see, I put the date 12th August 1987. Why? We celebrate 30th May because Rajiv Gandhi declared it on that day that you are now the 25th state of the Union of India. But officially it was accepted in the parliament on 12th August 1987. Now, in your history studies, you must have learned about old conquest and new conquest. Huh? There is a statement that is made, I'm going to sit down for a but there is a statement that is made that the Pajya lecture one. Yeah, there is a statement that is made that Portuguese were here for 451 years in Goa. How many of you agree to that? How many of you disagree? Now I will come to know what are, how you observe things in your methodology of understanding the different information. Can anybody tell me? If anybody has to answer, the answer will be no. Technically it is not correct. Why? From 1510 onwards, they were only there in the middle at Tiswadi Island. It was only in 1543, that is 33 years later, that they came and took over Maldives. And the same year, 40, uh, 1543, they took over Salse. And this they held on till 1788. Now in 1763, Something, something happened. The king of Sonda came to know that either Ali Tipu Sultan's father was supposed to attack him. So he ran away from with his family with the treasures and all and came to Portuguese Pazi for exile. 
So they gave an exile. That's a different story altogether. They gave. But after the threat of Tipu Sultan was neutralized by the British, now, now this guy was given a palace. He, was, he, he still has that palace, but has shifted the palace in Nageshi. And the present day king, so we don't have a royalty uh, scenario now, but the present day king, uh, Nagesh Wadiyar, is a very, very close friend of mine, Madhuling Nagesh Wadiyar, is a very, very close friend of mine, and we have a lot of discussions, and these are the inputs that he gives. What am I talking about? Oral history. That can be, when he talks about certain days, we can always verify it with documents. Okay? Now, 1783, he got the, he got an opportunity to say, okay, you give us your lands, we'll give you the land to stay over here. And he gave them Kanakon, Kepe, Sange, and part of Panda. Part of Panda was with Adil Shah, he was captured later on. Then later on, Sattari was conquered, Sangri was taken over, Vichuri was taken over at Bengal. And the borders of Goa were formed, the present they were only in 1788, not before that. So when you talk about Goa, the present day Goa, and related to history, what you may be giving information in our time. So you have to say the name of that place when you are giving the history. You are not part of Goa. Okay. Today we have got this part. Okay, now I am just going to go back. What is the area of Goa? You are born and brought up in Goa. 3,700 square kilometers. 3,700 square kilometers. Yes. Place are there. I have got enough of them. You give me correct answers for this game. Okay. 3,702 and uh, uh, the height maximum is 1,022 meters of uh, our mountains over here in Goa. Okay? Now, these red lines are the national highways and also you can bring that red line down the is the uh, Mumbai Railway from Kapitan and South Western Railway from uh, Moscow to London. Now I am going to ask a question. Yeah, what? This is the state logo of Goa, crest of Goa. Okay, let's not talk about this. You see it everywhere. What is one by one? Put your hands up. Let me ask. Sir, so, may what your what is the state animal of Goa? Put your hand up. Only this three point. At the end of this session, even Moti Dali. So let it come down. Huh? Go, go. What is the English uh, the, uh, zoological name of Goa? Can anybody tell me? Why? word as a use for the Kasa. Perfect. Perfect. Indian Bison. For heaven's sake, I mean, Kokne Uleta. Taka Munta the Bison, Munta the Bison. And you must say Indian Bison. Why? Because the American Bison, which is there, has got hair. So I have brought the family of dog to all of you Papa Gaur, Mama Gaur, and Baba Gaur. You can see that it doesn't have the hair. It is also called as boss gauls. What is the state bird of war? I give you a little bit. Let me see anybody. Huh? Huh? Yellow? Yellow buckle. Yellow buckle. Remember, there are eight different types of bulbuls in war. Do you call us the Indian Thai as the Indian Thai as the Indian Thai as the Indian Thai as the Yellow Thotted Bulbul Yellow Thotted Bulbul I don't know what Bulbul is What Bulbul? 
what is the state heritage musical instrument of no that's an incomplete answer that's an incomplete answer see this is how that methodology what we are talking about is reading and understanding read newspapers best source of uh, information what is happening somewhere now when you say gumat amcha bunda bili garachi kadadi astali now if you take that and try to take the gumat for any international festival they will catch you at the custom of the lucky of a tenure so how goa government accepted that because it is covered with the scheme of a she board a she board that is the closest that is getting to that sound so simply don't uh, say gumat you say gumat with a she board scheme that is our heritage musical instrument ani aata am chocolate ke baat mein the state game of goa Sure, football. Yes. And what is the symbol of that uh, FC Goa? X. Somebody said. Goal. Football. That is for the like a pool kya lo. Toh yaar old one hai toh Goa. Yeh bhi exercise bhi toh na. Aapko na toh wala. Indian pilot toh. Aapne toh na pool munda. See. Now. After all this, you will realize that 99% of Goans don't know 99% of Goa. Now, because of that, whatever information I gathered, you know, I gathered on this book. This is something what I made for myself. You all can see this when they are going out. Every episode before I go to shoot, I will take down. You make your own charts. Please make your own charts. In this. You have got the date on which we are going. You have the location, the number, number of my episode. Now we are going to one eighty-five. Episode name. What is that episode that I am going to shoot about? Cameraman. Who are the cameraman with me? So in case I forget something, he remembers and he feeds that particular information. Backup. Then I have got story brief. Then opening P to C and closing P to C. Now, if you see my episode, you'll find that I come. Hello, for another episode. That is what is opening P to C. I'm introducing. And then there is a closing episode. Uh, uh, P to C. It says that please get back to me and tell me if you have liked this or not liked this. So whether they have shot it many times, they come back and we forget. We shoot that. So we think that the year where the events happened over there and the. Uh, Brief history which I know. Who are the people whom I talk to? The contact number. What is his designation? And just slight break. But what we do is what information we get as oral history or what those people tell, we write it behind. So you will find that many many of these places, many of these places have got these things which are behind. So so. When you go, when you go to that particular place, you have to understand what you are going to speak. What we call as a script. For you, it is documentary. Who are you going to ask? What? You cannot just go and ask any questions to a bodhi or a priest or a mala. You need to know what you are asking for. Because those guys are like me. Once I start talking, I can't stop. So they keep on giving information. Some of them may be right, some of the information may be wrong. So you talk to another person. So there may be something which negates this. So take that information out. So it boils down to the correct information. Very very important. Please watch those. And if just because we Goans don't know about Goa, we don't know about Goa, how people recognize our dance? Tato, you go anywhere, Delhi, Bombay, uh, Bangalore, Madras. You say you come from Goa, you turn into a Kaju Kaju person. Fake, are you coming fake? You don't 
because the ladies sometimes they talk about that. Some mama, sometimes they talk about it. But yeah, you know, I'm, I think I'm uh, our flag here. Don't buy the way you're going to get the ready money. Because of Zagri, people used to go and stay on the side. Because of work, they would either go out of the village or go out of the state or they would go out of India. So our ancestors wanted all of them to come together. And then they are damaged here, leave Karun, they all come and we leave. I tell you my example. You know, I was studying in Nepal College, Konje Mohdala Sabaya, because only when I started attending uh, my uh, Savarana and Ganesh Chaturthi. Then I realized that the guy in my class was related to me. I didn't know about it. That was the main objective. Second thing, second objective. To me, Bala Sala, don't get this thing, this guy like he, I just tell you, that I'm my own, no way to know. They would all sit down and cut Baji. Baji would have a good dialogue and black dialogue. What were they doing actually? Would they be? No. The elder generation was passing the cooking methodologies to the new generation. Atam Kano Maratalo, Kano. You know, say Paraja said it became Padasaka. But here, during those times, we never used onion, we never used garlic, none of the aromatic stuff. So they passed on those dishes to the, the younger generation and we carried forward our culinary heritage. आता तुम्हें वेजिटेरियन करना खाली मगे यार ना पिज़्ज़ा खाली दाग पंद्रह दिन आते रहते हैं हाँ तो थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ़ इट दो ही पूजा लगा बिफोर दे ब्रिंग गणपति दे रिवियर द मदर एंड फादर ऑफ़ गणपति व्हाट आर दे दे आर ऑल बंचेस ऑफ़ हॉब्स टाइड अप इन अ पेपर व्हाट वाज़ द मैसेज दैट दे गिव इट herbs that are growing in the, on the hills. Respect them. And now I come to the last and the most important thing. When I come to your house, let us say you have to invite me for a birthday. And after the lecture, I am sure you say, can I come here? But when you can invite me for a birthday, if I bring a gift for you, what will I do with it? I will either give it in your hand or I will keep it on the table. No? आते थे तो क्या करना होता था ना? हाँ ही। और हाँ ना घरों पे क्या करना होता है? ताज़ा तो क्या हुआ है? माटोड़े बांधा। आता सगाई को ना मुशारस तो कोई नहीं थे सब पर ना पीएचडी इन घरे चुनौती नहीं की लगता था यार बलवान भी बांधा। You are not supposed to put that. You are supposed to put the fruits that go to your condition for your garden. You are supposed to tie the herbs that are found on the things or things of bazaar that are. Lot of herbs are there. I mean, I have colorful this time that I come. They told us more important than the God are these herbs because they are the one that will help you. You know what I mean? The Anuman Manashila Bo Anuman. Huh? If you can actually ask. Taka, Raman Sangleti, I am Taka Pani Lakla. So, you know what I mean? Taka Pani Lakla, I am Taka Pani Lakla. I am Taka Pani Lakla. आगा सुनता तो ये सुनता माय फैमिली के लिए क्या लें तो वो दोनों तो पूर्ण जन लोग हैं उनको ताई की कारण वो कौन सा तो होगा सी व्हाट दे आर ट्राइंग टू टेल अस थ्रू ऑल दिस ओके दे आर ट्राइंग टू टेल अस टुडे वी आर लूसिंग आवर द ट्रेजर दैट वी हैव इन आवर हैंड बाय नॉट नोइंग अवे पापा के बारा दौर था अने बीच में कुछ था था अने मैं फैनली की ना था घर मोड़ पार दो बुआ रे अशिल्ले की रे ते पार गलाब वाले माये ब्लॉक की ना दिखाते हम तो अने तो पढ़ाई के विचारे वो कदम सब बुआ का मिला वेट करे ना तो फोर फाइव इयर्स टंकिया मिला वेट किया मैं वो कौन डांस करता
know, angry, they get So, how many of you are like that? No? Go well, If I give you an AC car, if I, listen carefully, huh? if I give you an AC car and tell you, go anywhere you want, but all you have to do is take a selfie or touch something that is the oldest tangible heritage from the government. Kaptaram is a fort built by the feudatories of Sonetas in the 1670s. Basnagar Dumar is the mythology of Kaptaram. Major Temple, 12th century, which is the last year. This guy was 12,000 years. But yeah, he has a fort in 12,000. That is 8,500, 10,000 to 8,500. Do you know that you have in, in the Goa state, we have got something that no other state in India has got. Whatever next is there is outside India. And it is found only at two places. One at Malale and one at Anmol. When you are going that side, you find a big stone. These are called as chroniamite nice. The stones which are dated to 3500 plus or minus 160 years old. Why are they unique? Because this was the lava that was thrown out of Mother Earth when it was forming and these are the only two places in Goa, where it, uh, in India, where it solidified over the ground. When the museum comes up, they will be again putting up those things, you can go and read about that. This is in Palolem. Palolem, sorry, Ayala Parthay to me. Ah, okay, I'm going to go to Ayala Parthay. That Ayala Parthay, Sulaanka Nanda, okay, so, it's a 3,500 million old, right? Something a little more younger, go and see, where will you go? How, who, anybody around Sudhari? I'm going to go to the table, I'm going to go to the table, I'm going to go to the table, okay, good. You all should know this. I don't know why I left my body. Kine pura pura dhangarai dhikar dhangar o pangdam jay nama dhikar dhangar. The trail of Pandavas never went through Goa. They went through the central area. Ata Pandava jay Pandava jay Pandava jay Pandava jay Pandava jay. But the next thing that you can see, you can touch and this is a place we don't take people to. It is right there in front of them, but we don't take them there. I will show you, but you will not be able to understand what. A 8 square kilometers of a fossilized forest that is dated to 65 million years old. Now, about 140 years back, a German scientist lady presented this paper in Sri Lanka for an international conference where she stated that in this region of Kongar there is a 8 square kilometer of land where you find this tree. Don't look at this. You will not understand this. It will look like any other stone. But look at this. This bark of the stone, this is a tree. That is the bark of the stone. You can see the holes. You can see the central part. That is the first evidence of life in Goa in this region. The volcanic activity on the Deccan Plateau burnt down this forest which in turn turned into stone. And we don't take their uh, people there. Why? Because people will take pieces of this. There are only few pieces of, you know, big pieces left. People are washing their clothes and all. That they are this is in the Khatara village of Sattari. Then somebody said Parsaimal, no? This is Parsaimal. The rock in Sange. The river that you see is the Pushavati river which is just ankle deep. I have always every year took my students there for the full day. To show caves, 
to uh, have a swim in the river in this place. Today, the people have gone abroad but when they, when they come back or they send a mail or a message, they remember, they said, if you have not given us an opportunity to swim over there, we would never know the joy of swimming in a river. And they climb coconut trees there. Nobody does that. William the Dada also don't do that at the end of So things are changing. On this, there are about 143 rock carvings called as petroglyphs. Pansy, you have been to Miramar, Kambal, Children's Park. You have seen this? Yes. Do you know how important this is? This is called as the Canon of Manasari. It was the Manasari fort and it was brought inside the old world. 1829. When this man called as, uh, you know, the man called as uh, Campo Manuel de Portugal, Campo Manuel, Campa, he developed that area as a recreation. And he brought this cannon and kept it. Do you know that this is the oldest cannon in India and the only of its kind in Goa? See how our cannons made? They had a mold of sand and they would pour the hot metal inside. No, it had a hole on the side. But if you look very carefully at this cannon, behind, you find that it has got circle. There are plates that have been bent. And now how we take care of our heritage, you have seen the next slide. We use it like a dustbin. But I tell you, very positive thing. I asked one fellow, I said, I don't know, 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 we don't know how to take care of this, this actually happened a lot, the entire time we locked inside, otherwise, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, Let's talk about curses. We have two stones which have got the name, you know, uh, importance as curse. Stone of curse of Chandor and stone of curse of Anjuna. Okay? This stone in front of the Santiago Chapel has got four marks. And Father Harris in 1930 found this in a field just outside the Chandor fort. And he kept it here and he made a nice legend of it. That when the Kadamba queen came back and she found that her husband everybody was killed, assassinated, she kicked this stone four times and she cursed, saying, No lady in this ward is going to remain married for a long time, should become a widow like me. Who thinks so? If you go there, you'll find that most of the houses are having many widows. The people from Madhra would never give their daughters in marriage to uh, people from Chandra. And secondly, what was this queen drinking? What did the bush? Did they call the mother of father as a boba? So it is a legend that has been created. Then in Anjuna, that is this Pedra the Maldisam. It was a pillar where one day some priests had come to you know, convert uh, or take an uh, orphan boy and that priest happened to uh, molest that mother. So the people were angry and they beat them badly and they killed one man. So the Portuguese took that as an insult. And they came, they took all the meals from that village to work on the galleys, to row. And they put salt in all the fields so that nobody is going to and they put this stone over and tell him that you won't do anything like this again, we are not going to leave you. So it is still there. How many palaces are there in Goa? How many palaces are there in Goa? Starting from Raurai and Ishpramu Palace on top, to Kempen Palace of the Diyam, to Raj Bhavan, to Rai Bandar, to Pangeam Mahinex Palace. 
this is the palace of Adil Shah, built in 1500s. What is it? This was the old secretary. But when you look at this, remember that this is not the palace of Adil Shah in total. If you look at this last, uh, if you look at this last roof over here, can you see the last roof? Yes. That is the palace of Adil Shah. When in the 17th century, the people shifted, 16th century, the Portuguese shifted their capital from World War to Punji, they added this here to house the governor. And then when we wrote that story, you know, Alibaba and Charis Sol, from 30 MLS and 40 MLS, uh, they added the last NXC over here. So when we say that that is the palace of Adil Shah, it is only the first part when you enter the museum, where there is a museum right now. What is there on your right hand side is the palace of Adil Shah. Okay? This is the, this is the photograph of this in 1888. You can see how it was looking. There was a bridge in front of it. There was no road, the diamond road, the road was not there. But if you go to Panjim now, those houses that you see behind here, this and this, other than a balcony for this house, there is no other house. And this is the palace of Adil Shah. Now, this house is very famous. This is the palace of Adil Shah. This is the palace of Adil Shah. This is the palace of Adil Shah. Now, when you are surfing the land, you come across a lot of these old photographs. When you download them, only the photo comes down. So when you download it, please make it a point to identify them. Otherwise, you will not know what photograph is that thing is about. Like, you know, tourists are a bit tourist update. Anjina Vata, Mata Vata, Kalamburita, Kandali Vata, Photogantan Sabra Nija Jai. Very important. This is a house, long house in Raibandha. This was the palace of the Count of Raibandha. When you are coming from the old road, you can see this. The ferry going to Shona one time. You know that ferry going to Shara, you can see the two pillars better. Now, why did they require a palace in the uh, Rai Bandar? Why? Rai Bandar. Bandar of the Rai. Rai means king. And who are this Rai? The representative of the king, the viceroy, and the governor who came from Portugal. It took them around 29 30 days to reach Goa by the ship. And they sat alone in Natale. So they would anchor their vessel over there in Raibandar, get down, stay in this palace for about 8 days. But as then, then they would send a message, get back onto their ship and then they would sail and enter Old Goa through the arch of the Viceroy's. Okay? This is Rajbhavan. I am the curator of the uh, Rajbhavan Darshan tours that are being held there at uh, Rajbhavan. Right now they have been stopped. But you can uh, always register online and go for a tour. Right now, for a short time, they have stopped it. This is the palace built in the new conquest in Quebec. It is called Palacio de Dion. And this is the palace of the King of Sodekar or the Shivdiv Palace, right next to the Nageshi Temple. This is how it looked 100 years ago. The palace of the King of Sonda. Festivals. Well, fast. Again, stage festival. Yes, another thing. She is a Both are state festivals. Just two days back on Sunday, we had this festival called the Pejeja Fest. But why I bought this particular thing to you? is because this is the festival celebrated by the Catholic and the Hindu community. This is a face like the statue you can see here. This is the festival of the Catholics in the Jesus of Nazareth Chapel in Sindhau. But it is called Pejeja Fest because the Dempo family books 
Kanji bears bears in seven undies and distributed to the people. This is called Beji Jeffers. But I'll tell you one thing. This is what I have conveyed to the temple authorities also. That what they are doing down there is not correct. There are more than 20, 25,000 dons who go through the fire. The fire is big, they just pull the schools and you have to land Burgia by Asam to Allah Tardade. When, they, when somebody else puts the feet on the coal, the ash goes on the side. So they put their feet there, they are not walking on the fire. I said, don't cheat. If you don't want to do, tell Goddard Baba Arnaya and Zayana, come out of it. Because the people who are watching, those thousands of people know that you are cheating. I might tell you that you are But, there are other places also that there is a But I personally like the Mongol at Chodna. Can you believe it? There is 10 inches, 8 to 10 inches of coal, burning coal, and people are actually walking there. Children, and this is just one. There are guys with two, two children who run on this. Uh, this is what you call faith. And do you know the best part of it? They tell you, tend to work hard, don't cover your head. If you want to run, run across the fire. But once that colors goes through, then they don't allow you inside. But they tell you, it doesn't matter who you are. You want to run the fire, run. Don't get caught. Neither by the neither now, okay? No sleeping and all. You have to run across. This is the church of Saint Anna, the grandmother of Jesus Christ. Very, very unique festival that happens over here. Toshan Chai I personally call it the feast of bribery. Huh? I tell you the reason. Ada, you have to offer two uh, two uh, cucumbers to the gods. You have to keep it there and one you have to take home to eat. But when you are keeping there, you have to say if you got a child, he says, No me pipino, da me menino. Take this. To come back and give me a child. Driver in the Atamika is the government to be in the department now. He gets so she has only five minutes to give him. Chanka Panam Bail Pimirunam. Dante Pika Thailand. Toki Munda. He gives a spoon. Song song. Tome Puler. Dame Mole. Take this spoon and give me a wife. Possibly the cooking and all was. And I mean, it's just all the way. If the girls want to ask God, Uddan Chita. Hey boy, Tomya Udin, Tomya Marin. It's just all the way. But I'll tell you one thing. There are many people who come back the next year with kids. Finally, it is fate. Whatever the, the date is, your fate. You don't have to identify yourself by being anything. Faith is very, very important. Faith in your studies, you will pass. If you don't have faith in the studies, you will not pass. It's simple. Chikal kalo. Ab jo bhai ho bhi paisa nahi, taaja adar mukta dhan taaja nahi bata. Smart pay karta hai, udha pe sista. Karta. Ani kara kare yon. Ashi ke tushi ke stali. Ashi I am feeling so fresh. We have got a festival called a Chikal Kalo. You see elders and youngsters, Why? Because our ancestors told us that if you start, you know, uh, planting trees, walking around, that's why I remove my shoes, walking around on the on the mud, it is very good, it's giving, uh, giving you immunity. You will not feel sick, you will not get skin disease. You have to do it for a long time. Okay? I mean, Buddha Sutta. Buddha Sutta 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 
Shiv appeared in Divar Island to the seven fishes who prayed for one poor year. Sapta Koti Ishwar. Sapta Koti Ishwar. And he decided to stay at uh, Divar. Divar Lake, tell me. But then what happened? Every year during that Ashtami day, we, you know, ah. So he said, okay, I'll wait. So you can tell me, Tatasu, okay, Tatasu, no matter what, Tatasu, no matter what, full law. Right? So that's a good one, actually, all these Buddhas. And who are you? I mean, you have a budget. I am here, I don't want to go back to Kailas. You have to go to the area. So he gave them the permission to stay. And the celebration of the Buddha Sankhwad of Buddha Chisatra and it is held inside of the Trimitorium. That is the Trimitorium. There is something else. By sunset, see in the morning, around 34 temple deities used to come, Palkya Vinatale, Bodhi Vinatale, and would wait there the whole day till just before sunset. Before sunset, they would come down, have a wash with the river water and then they would go. Once they went, even the people in that village left that village and went. Nobody stayed over there because at night the Buddha used to come. Ramkyasi Buddha was there, Ramkyasi Buddha was there, but they never stayed there. This is another festival. This is an invitation to the gods from Sri Veta of Koinini. This is held every three years. First year he sends out the invitation. Next year he has the gade. Third year he takes rest. So this particular invitation, there are got two lines, uh, three, right? three lines, you know, embroidered on that, is carried personally barefoot over old traditional path to 12 different temples in all the surrounding villages. And they invite, you know, he invites them to come to the gade. Now what is this gade? You know, what about Saadne gade? The people keep running on the hill. Other gades are there where they dig up, you know, buried people and they bring snails. But this gade is different. This gade has got five, four people have got hooks in their back. Where they put these hooks in their back and then they go on top of the of the this platform there is a spindle. Charitanam Panda and it is turned. And what is it? Manda, you mean Koshila le? Oh, why Manda? Why did they stop it? They bring them down. This is one type of gade. One of the gades, other than Pirna gade, which happens in the morning, ten o'clock. This happens in the evening. Rest of all gades happen at night. Ani dakhte aur apne chhe gade in Pirna house. Ito mata hai ja. But I love this. Gada ji la la. Which has recently happened in February month. Bhavreshwar. Bhavreshwar. Very good. Good. This is in Bada Kalamud border. They give God a full bunch of bananas. Now, Bada Kalamud, what is the word? Shem Kutolo, Shem Kutolo, what is the word? 3,000 plus birds are given over there and then they are tied up on top. At night, they are optional. So, if you love bananas, go there. If you will be hundred rupees, you get a big bird. This is 19 December 1961. Three slides only. This is how the Indian armed forces entered inside. The golden arrows are the army. The three red things are the three ships that took on the uh, NRP Afos Amdukar. And the two puffs that are there, just above and below the ships, is where the Indian Air Force bombed. Okay? This is the surrender treaty signed by Manuel Antonio Vassal the Seal, the Governor General, last Governor General of Portugal here. Below that is the translation. Those are the two witnesses. These are all the medallions that took part in this and this signed, accepted by Brigadier K.S. Dillon. This is the, the treaty of surrender of Dawn, which was signed at Nani Dawn. In the morning at 8 30 and the Goa one was signed at 9 at 8 30. Now let's come to this is the most important part which you can be made for. Now, if you see here, I have said my 
understand is a mixture of old and new, but mostly out of the box. Many people refuse to give information to people who they don't like. But people like me, they know he's harmless, so thank you, God. They even open churches, except temples. Churches, everything they open up and they give you. So my style is different. I first make the person comfortable. That is very, very important. And then I have this. The first thing about this heritage is passion. If you don't have passion, you will not be able, nothing is going to go inside. If you turn the pot upside down and start pouring water, nothing is going to go. You must have passion. That is very, very important. Secondly, you have got ingredients. What is the problem with that? I am not going to get the information. 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 Fire, but I have what chicken was. Why were they doing that? Because they didn't know the answer. Now, how about you? We were never given that information. So, somehow, that inquisitiveness even today. Oh, where is this? What is this? How can I find this? Whom do I meet? Very important. Then, visit sites and cultural events. You cannot. Learn anything. I have bought a collection of over five and a half lakh photographs in by me myself. I got around two and a half thousand photographs that are around 100 years old. But how did I manage to collect that? I would travel on my bike, went to Chorotso for German in Sattare all night, where four people are buried up to their neck and four people are head is buried inside the ground. I went down to Murkar and down in the south. Shedding was over, people climb a tree and then it was over. If you cannot go there, then find out from the people who have gone there, from people who have gone there. Inquisitiveness is very, very important. Thirdly, ability to note down. Expand table point. Now, this is very, very important. Sometimes we are so what you call tired, we are so caught up in a particular thing that we get information, we write it down, like here, what you see, you know. We write it down behind. But sometimes when you come back home, no, you know, what was he referring to? Expandable points is very, very important. Take down points, dates, what is being done, what is it called. Take it the pronunciation, take it a mandan, it will be very different. Expandable points are very, very important. Third, fourth, that's what I said, oral history. I told you about oral history. So, this is the first thing that I have done. So, I have done a little bit of a problem. This one. जाते के लिए तो आपने तो मसाले वाले संदा अच्छे लगते हैं सर भाई ये लो डॉक्टर है नजर पड़ते हैं डॉक्टर का कमिटी डॉक्टर हिस्टोरियन हो जाते हैं एंड देन यू कैन जस्ट माइंस तुम्हें डिवीजन करता सकते हैं माइंस माइंस करता डू दैट रीड न्यूज़पेपर्स डेली अंदर रीड न्यूज़पेपर उठे कि नहीं � so I answered it. No. You just glance over it first. And then whatever is important, come to my house. I'll show you now. I've got boxes full of cuttings. From 1999 onwards. Boxes. But that is my reference material. But that, you can't trust that material. You can't trust that material. You take that information, go to that place, ask the people over there. At the point, just about two weeks back, in Zatra Dali, which happens 12 years 
12 years, 7 years, 9 years. It is called Papadevaji Zatra. Now, Papadev Kohan. Can anybody tell me? If you note down, Papadevaji Zatra, Kohan. Konikeshwari. You all had an impression that it was the male god, no? Konikeshwari, she is the head of the Nidra village. Where Sattvapadeshwar temple, Konikeshwari, all the other temples are the Pajayatan in there. And it happens only once in 12 years, 9 years, depend, 3 years. Uh, okay. Refer reliable published sources. Now, do you know that there is something called a Krishnada Shamashmeta Goa case? It has got 4 levels, 5 levels. Down is the issues, first is the children, second is the third is that second, third is the where they where you can get books to select, fourth is the rare sections book, fifth is a place where they keep it. You will not believe they have got books that are taking back to 15, 30 handwritten books. Go there, refer. We have got an archive which is one of the best in the world. Just across next to because that's good. Go there, get the information. Go to museums. How many museums are there in Goa? All types, huh? all types of museums, where things are showcased. I have recently seen one, Wax Museum. Go there. How many museums are there in Goa? which deals with the agrarian history of Goa. We have got Goa Chakra, which deals with the wheeled movement in Goa. And we have got uh, the Kruti Museum, Goa Kruti, which has got, you know, the professions of Goa. Now we have opened one in Bengal, but I don't know where it is. Then we have got the Anthropological Museum, Ancestral Goa, Bigfoot. It tells you about its occupations. Uh, it, uh, it has got the opposite in the house. We have got house museums. Alukyat House Museum, we have got uh, your, this is what it called, uh, Casa Alvaris. So many ones, you know, which tells you how people lived. Then we have got Museum of Goa. The Museum of the Houses of Goa in Torda, just below it. Across on the hill and pillar, you have a museum of Goa. That is a contemporary museum of art and Now, you have got ASI Museum in Golden You have got a state museum in the Adityas Palace, which is going to be shifted to Ella. And you have got the only museum of Indian customs and indirect taxes in Panama. And you have got the only naval aviation museum with all the aircrafts in the world. Please go and see this. Please go and see because it will give you so much of information. Even the book called Akbar Nama written for Akbar is there which has been smuggled out by court and it is on display here. Go and see. It's beautiful. And after all this is done, you have gathered all the particular thing to verify those queries with some numbers. At this stage, you know, you have to take a look at the girls. They are autographed. I have to slam book. I have to watch it. 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 But I remember what was written about it. The man who wrote that became the director of Air India. He was born. Selected 3 out of 18,000 people. 18,000 people. Okay? Uh, now, there it is written. This is from Bhagavad Gita. There it is written. He who knows not that he knows not, leave him. 
He who knows not, that he knows not, live it. But as such, why? So, I don't know what you're talking about. That's kind of. Live it. He who knows not, that he knows. That's what happened. Actually, it's all the stuff. It's not just that it's all the stuff. If you know about that, enlighten him. This is very important for you when you become teachers. Because, check on whether he who knows not, that he knows not. Leave it to that, you don't leave it.
Because there are two things that go wrong. Number one, in a school, there is something called the uniform. And that uniformity has to be, the lessons of uniformity has to be given by the teachers themselves. Then, the second thing which is there, you know, it is the children. They get distracted. जब पहले जब तीन लोग आते हैं हमका बाहर मल्ले बिल्कुल टीचर हम जी क्लास में शेष ही लेने की जब ताकने का लेना चाहिए किधर है अरे हमें आशुन स्टार्ट पेंडल लगते हैं आप देखिए कि फ्रेंडली दिस आर द फैक्ट्स ऑफ योर टीचिंग प्रोफेशन व्हेन यू गो देयर यू आर नॉट यू थिंक दैट यू लुक गुड यस � that word no must not exist. You have seen that Chennai is the Bokwas dictionary in Delhi. So you should have that Bokwas dictionary. Because your word no must be K N O W. You should, if a child doesn't know something, find out how you can make that person to know from that no N O, you get him to make it no K N O W. Very, 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 very important. So I have named one of my program, Go Goa, No Goa, that is meant for Goa. Here, by the other time, No Goa, and No Goa, it is for you to understand, K and other. Kuili Amcha Daimar. Chadi Maje Cham Cham Vidya Yehi Gham Gham Dolo Gurt, Aadwa Dalo, Thai Thai Thai. And you are going to say, Baje Shumai, you dare to go and tell your father that the teacher beat me, Thoi Maar Patta Lo, that the teacher is more Samana Kela Ho. Atta Ho. Come out into this wild world, you will find that you cannot insult a child, you cannot hit a child, you cannot hold a child, lot of things that are there. So there has been a drastic change. They knew tables up to 20 and 25. At the Yakata table, I interviewed one guy, MA in mathematics, for a job in uh, Angels Resort, I wanted an accountant person, an MA guy came over there. And there were only two guys who had shot this, one girl and one boy. I, my way of thinking is that I asked them what his father and mother are doing. That is very important for me. If that person there, he is a shoemaker, he is a farmer, first choice to select because he is proud of his father. The other said, no, he is working abroad and he goes to the toilet, the customer is saying, why? He is paying for you all. Salary or your education. No? Don't feel bad about it. You can't feel bad about your parents. They want to do something in different times. So I always ask them this. And the second thing was give them a paper and give them one sum. Just one sum. 2.7 multiplied by 9.3. That's it. This girl did something, you know. She said, 9, 2, multiply, the dollar, 3, and 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 3, Einstein was also confused that there were no numbers on the other end. Very good. So, she made an attempt. The next guy who did that came in and he made this. I was shocked. When I gave him the paper and the pencil and the rubber, the guy put his hand like this and he said, hey, come. He said, what happened? He said, no, sir, you got a calculator, I can't do it. He said, after calculator, I'm holding on to the control of the other end. वो आपको समझ जाएगा इधर क्या करें तो आपने नोट वो बोलिए तो एक बार लर्न दे पूर्व स्ट्रेस कर दिया आपने एंड दिस टुडे द स्टूडेंट्स नो टाइम टू डू यू आर टू व्हाई क्योंकि द स्टूडेंट इज गॉड तो सदा तो यह ना बोलता वो बाय बाय ता टिक 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 मतलब नहीं जैसे इनफॉरमेशन दैट Train them in such a way that even if they get it, they should come back to you and ask you, last night I did this thing, I saw what is going on, I read this thing, you know, this is right. And you should be in a better position to, to answer. All the students don't have the same idea. They take the first part. They get to think about them. I'm a bad painter, I'm proud to say I'm a bad painter. मैं जब तो लगा था लगा दूसरों को पढ़ा दे रही हूँ तभी तीसरे दिन लगा दिया था ओके सेट के ओके बैठ गया अभी इतना लेवल से रिव्यू के गाइस सिटी माय क्लास क्या 
there are some people who are just allowed to play questions. Kine kani tijay question is aro to mora so wrong as you know. Bule. Isre as chale the kine is aro kine na kato question mar bollo kisi pata bole. Kisu asta to like this three young ladies and I appreciate you uh, three people. No, because every time I ask a question, you all put up your hand, and which needs to be appreciated. And I need to appreciate even the small amount of people. Because they are listening to my boring class over here. Okay? Now, do you know that Einstein was thrown out of... Uh, well, that's a nice story about that. Right? And somewhere down the line, they were not tell you this. How the mother taught him. When the Lord came to her saying that this guy can't take him. And she told him that that is a very, uh, you know, this is a very uh, good thing that the teacher has said that, you know, that they can't even teach you because you know so much. So let me teach you. Okay. Positivity is very important. Now the Isaac Newton is done. Isaac Newton is done. He 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 is done. After he sat there and the apple fall, fell on him, you know, he came up with so many formulas out of the Shumedha If he didn't have to sit up with the effort, he would have not have known. Sometimes loitering helps. And when you talk of history, you must loiter because that is where your heritage lies. Your history lies. Your archives lie. Museums are there. You have to move around the place. I am not expecting them to take you out every time. But whenever you, you are in that area, the time of the go and And this is what I was telling you. Do not look, observe. Very, very important. Many times you go, not see something and come back. You have just looked around and come. But thought that Amir Khan has a picture as a, that it was a good girl, 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 that it was a good girl. Observe, very important. Then, do not hear. I will tell you anything. Listen. Because when you are listening, because when you are listening, then the question has many less explanation. And that is the last one. Do not check on words. I will add one more thing to this. Whenever there is a fight, understand what the issue is. Debate, fight over that issue, that subject, that whatever that thing is. Don't say, you yeah, also go fight. Why are you going personal? Because the whole point is about that issue. Don't say that. Don't do that. And don't lose your patience. Please don't lose your patience. This is what I told you. You can write it down, you can read it, you can understand it. He who knows not that he knows not, leave it. He who knows not that he knows, enlighten him. And he who knows that he knows, follow him. Here you have two people who know everything. Follow them. Okay? So, I brought this last slide, okay? Because we have got an issue of languages. Charlie language, I don't want to tell you now. Muito obrigado, shukriya. So, thank you so much. I am sorry, I am sure I am not going to take the time. You know, I have uh, gone one hour more. Then don't let the teachers know that. You know, but please, history is not about history alone. History without knowledge of heritage is of no use. You cannot learn about Shivaji, Chhatrapati Shivaji in Goa that he came here on 19th of November 1667 and on 20th he took over the fortress wall, fortification wall of Kolwari, killing five priests. He ordered that the five priests should be killed. The painting you can see it in the ASI Museum. You don't know about Shivaji if you don't know that he ordered the construction of the Sattvateshwar temple in Norway. You don't know about Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj if you don't know that he ordered the construction of one fort which is not half the size of this classroom 
but it stopped the entire trade of the Portuguese in South Goa. In Betul. If you go to Cabo de Ram, it is on the way, ask somebody to go there and see. Small fort, one cannon, everything can go to And if I don't stop my lecture now, both these teachers are going to put that one cannon and shoot. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much. I hope there has been of some importance to you and let me leave you with one uh, request. Like I told you, I have got huge collection of books. Huge collection of books. I have got around almost 3,000 books related to Go. If at any time for your project, you require any photographs, please ask your teachers. Tell me what you want. Give your emails, I will send it to you or I will send it to your teacher. The information that I have is not mine, though I have collected it. That information belongs to you and the people of Goa and the people of the world. So anybody who wants that information, please do not hesitate. My contacts are with the teacher and so. Please take it from me because I want to give it out to the best people as possible. Okay? Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.